Hey everybody, welcome back to Life After Stroke. I'm Christopher Ewing. Today we're broadcasting from the Abilities Expo in Boston, Massachusetts. And with us right now is Terry James. She's from Brilliant Canine. And I gotta tell you, you know, I, people have been coming by your booth just eating up your stuff. I mean, it's just awesome. Terry makes these really, really great custom made harnesses and things like that for dogs and people that maybe have therapy dogs, service dogs, stuff like that. Um, Terry, tell everyone a little bit about what you do and all that kind of good sure, stuff. I'd love to. So what we do is we make an ergonomic product for dogs. What we're looking to do is to think about would I wear that? That's really my first question. So um, dogs have a lot of the same issues that we do. You know, pinch points, pain points, are they comfortable? So what we try to do is to make sure that we're making the highest quality product. We don't use any foam or felt or anything that builds up any heat because we really want that dog to be able to work all day, swim, play, do whatever he wants to do and have a good time, work hard, and to be comfortable without being restricted, pinched, poked, pulled, twisted, jerked. Mm -hmm. So what we focus on is keeping the dog's spine in alignment keeping the shoulders free and able to move under the harness. Right, right. And um, to really make the absolute best product we can for dogs. They're beautifully sewn, and uh, that's what we love to do. Well, you know, what's really cool, too, is that you don't just make a great product for the dogs. You make a great product for the dog owner and the dog lover because, you, as you were telling me, somebody might have maybe some physical difficulty with their hand yes. and, you know, maybe don't have use of both hands. Mm -hmm. These collars can be put on with one hand very easily, things yes. like that. Talk a little bit about that. Yes, we make the uh, speed buckle. And what the speed buckle does is it actually just clips in. Wow. So it does not require two hands. It's not, we often will make a stand mm -hmm. for the dog to walk into. Um, so somebody with disabilities can use the harness as well. So um, because many times dogs are trapped in their equipment mm -hmm. until somebody can come over and help the person to get the animal mm -hmm. out. This way it allows the person to be able to let the animal off duty when they need to be off duty and then get back on duty when they need to go do that. Right, right, so right. So it's an easy, nice, comfortable way for the handler and the dog. Well, you know, when I first heard about you and you were telling me more about how your collars actually work and everything, I started to think about all of the stroke survivor friends I have that have dogs. You know, I mean, people have a dog before a stroke, you know, and they've right. got a dog after their stroke. And, you know, putting a collar on and doing things like that, you know, when mm -hmm. you've got kind of limited use of your fingers or your hand yes. or something like that can be tough. And I was just like, wow, how cool is that, you know? And then the other thing is that you told me, and, and this, I, again, I didn't even think about this, is how sometimes if a collar doesn't feel comfortable to a dog, or maybe if somebody's constantly struggling putting a collar on a dog, the dog's going to be like, oh man, you know, I want to go outside. I want to hang out but oh gosh here she comes with the collar or oh man he's gonna start tugging and pulling trying to get that thing on me and this just totally nips that in the bud you yes. know well we focus on being comfortable for the dog first yes um, and it allows the dog to put the equipment on and take the equipment off mm. without having to step through do all sorts of gyrations to get into mm -hmm. the equipment um, it's very simple you just take him like that I love it and go on and then all you gotta do is clip it in so I can do it with one hand exactly holding a mic and everything else sure holding exactly a mic and everything else right and so it's less stressful for the dog but also dogs will start to become equipment shy when that equipment is not comfortable mm -hmm. and um, so what will happen is is they'll see that equipment coming at them and they're like whoa get exactly away, get away sure um, the same as if I if I had a your worst pair of shoes and I said no you have to wear those yeah shoes right exactly today, right yes exactly like, uh, those shoes <laughs> get don't the, I don't like those shoes yeah right right exactly and, and that's the other thing that we do is is if you think about your shoes you know are your feet long are they narrow mm -hmm. are they wide what are they so take a look at a dog hmm. they have many of the same issues you know are they wide bodied narrow bodied tall short long feet? right how are they built so that's what separates us from all the other companies is what we're really looking to do is we believe that the onus is on us to make the best quality product hmm. that fits the dog. So we have 20 sizes, actually a few more than that because we also do customs. Mm -hmm. um, but so, um, you know, for us, what we really want to do is first fit that dog's body, not 
send you one of four sizes and it's up to you to fit the dog into it. Right, right, right. You know, and it's, and I'll say this, go back to just the fit thing again, because this really kind of fascinates, fascinates me, is that um, when you think about having adaptive type of things, like, you know, like there's a guy over here that has uh, like adaptive silverware, you know, mm -hmm. to be able, for people to be able to hold forks and knives and stuff. You never think of having adaptive collars mm -hmm. for, to help the stroke survivor you know, be able to put the collar on their dog, and I, I, I just applaud you. I just think the thing is just so cool. And um, and again, it's not only just for stroke survivors; it's for people that have service dogs. You know, maybe regular uh, dogs, regular dogs, all kinds of stuff. We actually came out of the dog agility community. Okay, yeah, you know, brag a little bit, girl. When you mentioned Westminster and all kinds of stuff, I mean, yeah. you're kind of famous, man. You know, well, no, but uh, but <laughs> your we, collars we, uh, certainly are. You yes, know, the harnesses are definitely uh, sure. A lot of the world agility team. Mm. Uses them, you know, a lot of different uh, agility people, dock diving, you know, fly ball, a lot right. of different dog sports wear them. And that's really how the harness started out, mm. was we were looking for a better way uh, to allow our high drive dogs to work with us mm -hmm. um, and to train them mm. and to work with them without putting pressure on their neck and their throat, uh, which down the road causes a lot of problems. Right, right, right. You know, something else that you had mentioned that I heard you uh, telling one of your customers yesterday is how dogs can even swim in this. Yes. Because it's very lightweight and it doesn't have like foam or something that can kind of weight them right. down. And uh, talk a little bit about that. It was yeah, really when interesting. We make it the harness. What we're doing is, is we're blending materials together so that this can be an evaporative cooler. Mm -hmm. So we're making it very lightweight, very easy for the dog to breathe. So there's no restriction at all, but it also, the fabric, it breathes. So if you see a dog walking around on this you're, and you feel on the underside, it's not going to be hot. It's mm. not going to be cooking the dog. You know, we've seen a lot of dogs come through here and they're just panting. Right, um, right, right. You know, they have equipment around the rib cage. Mm. It's restricting their breathing. Uh, the equipment is hot. It's heavy. And what we want to do is get away from that and make a better quality product it really allows the dog to breathe and move comfortably. Man, Terry, you've put so much research into this thing. I, I just applaud you first and foremost. Um, the other thing that I think is really cool is that you've got all kinds of cool colors. Yeah. And I asked you, I said, wow, well, what if somebody like wants to have like, you know, their own little pattern or something, you know, mm -hmm. you'll even take their fabric and stitch it into their yes. collars and stuff like that. I think uh -huh. you even said like some service guys. Yes, we have servicemen all the time that will send us their uh, you know their uniform yeah their oh man of their uniform and ask us to make a harness for their dog and um, so we love doing that kind of stuff it's so much fun and it, you know and I, those are the more special things to us is oh. when we get to make something extremely personal for the owner and you know the dog absolutely so for everybody watching and everybody listening um, tell them how they can get a hold of you and find these great collars and stuff like that wonderful so um, you can go to brilliantcanine.com and we have a contact us on the website. Uh, you can also go to Facebook, brilliantcanine.com. That's the letter K, the number nine, dot com. And you can find us very easily. Uh, you can please do read our reviews. I always tell people, read reviews, know who you're dealing with. Uh, they're handmade in Lucas, Ohio. Um, so it's not any embroidery or anything we do is done before we sew the harness. So there's no aftermarket things done to the harness. Awesome. Awesome. And we'll have all the information on the strokechannel.tv website as well as just below us on the screen, as I'm sure uh, you can probably see if you guys are watching this. And for those of you who are listening to it, again, we'll have all the information on the strokechannel.tv website. Terry, thank you so much. It, you. you are just so awesome. And I just love what you're doing. Well, thank you very much. It was great fun to be on here, and I think you're doing a great job with the Stroke Channel. Well, thanks. So amazing. Thanks so much. Hang tight, everybody. We'll be right back.